What's up, YouTube? This is John Hammond, and we're looking again at the Natus War Game from Over the Wire. So now we're on level 18, and let's go ahead and run our script to see what it is that we are actually working with here. Looks like the page returns. Please log in with your admin account to retrieve credentials for Natus 19. Okay, so this doesn't look like the SQL injection or the uh, command execution that we had seen in some of the other levels. Maybe this is something new. We have a username and password input fields here, um, but let's take a look at the source code and try and analyze what we can. We'll paste that in for our get request, and now we can de-entitize what that returns for us and remove all the break tags with some find and replace magic. So the PHP code starts out telling us we have a max ID variable set to 640. In the comment here, 640 should be enough for everyone. Don't entirely know what that means just yet, so we'll keep reading. Um, here's one function, is valid admin login, um, determines if the request username is equal to admin. This method of authentication appears to be unsafe and has been disabled for now. Okay, so it just, that function returns zero. It pretty much does nothing, just, just returns zero. Okay. Um, but that kind of nerfs our ability to log in as admin, because if we were to pass along this request with the username field just trying to log in as admin, it wouldn't work for us. So, okay, whatever. That's not going to do anything. It just returns zero. So this function is valid ID, just determines whether or not it's a number. The argument that's passed to it, the ID is a number. Create ID. Um, user. It doesn't look like user is actually used in this function, but it does take advantage of this max ID variable. It's global scope right on the outside, and it creates a random number from 1 to 640. That's what that rand function does. Okay, so create ID is kind of random. Debug messages we can use with a get parameter. Um, that's pretty handy to know in case it gives us any valuable information. But my session start looks like it will determine whether or not a session ID already exists in the cookie, a PHP session ID, and if it's valid or not. If that is the case, it will go through with this code. If not, it does nothing. There is no else statement with this, it looks like. So if a session has not already started, looks like it will just say it fails, return false, otherwise it will create a new session, determine if you're an admin, and debug. Okay, looks like it closes that admin variable there, or sets, sets session admin equal to zero. Okay, so that locks us out again of being admin. That still won't work, right? There's is valid admin login return zero, session admin being set to zero, so it session with old admin flag set resets us. So it looks like it never really lets us be that session admin. Yeah, even this session admin equals zero, but later on in this print credentials function, it looks like it's trying to determine if session admin is equal to one. Then it will say you're an admin and credentials for the next level are here. So we have to set session admin to one, but we can't in this code, at least what we've read so far. Well, otherwise we're logged in as a regular user, a regular user, sorry, log in to admin to retrieve credentials. Huh. If the session has started, it will display that. Otherwise, it will read the, read the request for us. Session admin is going to be zero because that is valid admin login is zero. And it will show the form if we haven't if we haven't logged in. Okay, so let's just try it out. Um, let's go ahead and make a get rec a post request here. We'll pass in the data. Uh, make sure we actually post to the real page, not the source code. I'm going to change the URL up there. Username can equal please. <laughs> and password can be subscribe. <laughs> Shameless self-advertisement. Run this. So we get here, you're logged in as a regular user, logged in as an admin to retrieve credentials for Natus 19. What the heck? Okay. I don't know why we aren't an admin, other than the fact that I tried to log in as <laughs> please subscribe, so clearly we're not going to be an admin just like that. Let's print out what cookies we have here, because it looked like in the source code it was showing us um, the PHP session variable, PHP session ID being set to 260. Um, 
So that must be what that source code gave us as the random number, random between 1 and 640. But there's no way we could otherwise be an admin because it wouldn't it wouldn't let us use any of those like session admin variables. So maybe is is one of these session IDs just just the admin ID? I'm going to do a little bit of research here. Let's fire up Firefox. And I just wanted to show this to you because PHP session ID is something we should probably get to know. Uh, I know there is a PHP session ID, php.com, like, article on this thing. There's got to be. <laughs> session ID, PHP sess ID will actually tell us what this thing is. Okay, it looks like it just gets and sets. Session functions. It won't tell us anything about what that PHP session ID is. Other than there is one, and it looks like it has to be stored. Stack Overflow. PHP uses two methods of keeping track of sessions. If cookies are enabled, like in your case, it uses them. Okay, so that must be what we're working with. So looks like we have to change that cookie variable, PHP session ID, to one of the numbers between 1 and 640, because maybe one of them will be an admin ID. So let's try that. Let's get the page with a session ID set to something else. So let's get with cookies equals PHP session ID set to one, right? It's got to be a string here. I don't need the cookies anymore because I'm pretty trusting it will return. It says you're logged in as a regular loser, <laughs> a regular loser. <laughs> um, and let's actually move, move forward from this here because we want to see, okay, that one clearly wasn't the admin user. So what else can we get that might be? We want to determine in a loop, because we're getting the page over and over and over again with a new session ID, if we are the admin. So if you are an admin, was the string that was in it, right? Let's see, content response dot text can just be the content variable that we're working with in content. Actually, probably want that down here. Print, got it. And then print the content. Let's print trying ID or session ID. And we will loop through for session ID in range of 1 to 640. We can go up to 641 since that will be inclusive here. And let's run string of our session ID. Um, before we run do this, I should have actually checked that or saved that source code because I wanted to know what that would be, that string, because I honestly, honestly forget. So let's just check. Let's just do one more get request to make sure that is the correct string determining if we are or not an admin. Let's print response.txt. Deentitize. I really should have saved this code. I'm sorry I didn't. You are an admin. Okay, that, that works just fine for us. Good. Uh, let's put this in a new pane in case we need it again. And let's start the attack. Session ID, get with the cookies PHP session ID being set as the string here, getting the content, determining if you are an admin is in the content. If it is, it will get it. And then otherwise it will print trying session ID. And let's see how this looks. I'm gonna do this in the command line. So we can Python natus 18.py, trying one, two, three, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll let this run. And actually I should probably put a break when we get it and then print the session ID that we got. Now let's run this. And I'll pause the video, so uh, or I'll pause the recording, so once it's done, we can see what the password is. So I ran through it, and it didn't work.
So let's take a look at the code and see what's wrong. Oh, we were sending that to the source code all along. I'm a fool. So that code probably would have worked. I'm going to let this uh, pause the video here, pause the recording so I can see. Okay, so the script returned now, and I did get the correct session ID at ID number or admin ID at ID 138. So here we've got the password. You are an admin. The credentials for next level are Natus19, password this guy. And that's it. So the session ID we're passing in to our request, but since that's not part of the session object, it doesn't look like it's staying in the session object itself. It looks like it's just going for that request. So that's peculiar to note. And I really want to apologize about sending it to the wrong um, page up there with the index source still in the URL. I'm sure you were probably screaming at me the entire time. I need to remember to change that. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Let's go ahead and put this new um, new password in a new script. Let's put this in Natus19. And let's go and set and see what this level is asking us to do. Cool. All right. Well, hey, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying these videos. Uh, if you did like the video, please do hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, what you like, what I can do better, what else you'd like to see. Uh, please subscribe. And if you really, really want to support me, please head on over to my Patreon account. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you in a later video.